Snakes are some of the most fascinating creatures on Earth. However, with so many valuable articles and videos out there concerning proper care and how to keep yourself safe, one of the most important questions is, how much do snakes cost? Will I break the bank buying the snake of my choice and everything that is required in order to keep it happy and healthy? How about color variations? Will I have to pay crazy prices to get some of the coolest colors? These are questions that many people ask, especially beginners. If you've considered becoming the owner of a snake and have had your eye on a few different types of species, this buyer's guide is for you. Do you want to pay 30 bucks or do you want to pay several hundred? Knowing the cost can narrow your selection and perhaps change your mind entirely, especially if you were eyeing a certain snake that you now know is simply out of your price range. In this detailed guide, we will explore a total of seven common pet snakes, detail how much they cost, and also briefly discuss the cost of support. This includes enclosures, lighting, heat sources, food, bedding, decor, general upkeep, etc. We invite you to sit back, relax, perhaps take some notes if needed, and enjoy the video. If you're contemplating the idea of owning a snake, it's paramount that you keep a budget and not splurge. Don't go after the coolest looking snake in the store if it's the most expensive. Once the smoke clears, you could find yourself in quite a financial bind. That's why eyeing the cheapest snakes available is the best course of action for first time owners. Why? The reason is the general ownership aspect. You may own your snake for a month and simply find out it's not right for you. There's nothing wrong with that. You learned and that's most important. The second reason why cheaper is better is because of the lack of a financial hit. If you decide that snake ownership really isn't your thing, you can take comfort in knowing that you didn't blow in hundreds of dollars to scratch the itch. Keep these things in mind while shopping around. Start off simple. Use it as a litmus test. If you find you're enjoying yourself and the concept of owning a reptile is what you're looking for, then you've lost nothing. If you sour on the idea, you haven't harmed your wallet. Let's get the ball rolling and kick off our in-depth buyer's guide. As a word of note, a few items of discussion in this video will appear as on-screen graphics for your viewing pleasure. Let's begin things with the ball python. The ball python is one of the ultimate budget snakes. Quite well behaved and relatively small, ball pythons are the perfect snake if you're concerned about too much movement. This especially applies to movement while handling. The most common ball pythons go for anywhere between $20 and $75. For a female that is a proven and known breeder, the price can reach $100. If you're interested in purchasing a ball python that is not a normal morph, you'll have to pay a pretty penny. A morph is a reference to color patterns. These patterns are the byproducts of various breedings. While a normal morph will be in the standard range of $20 to $30 on average, the more exotic the morph, the steeper the price. Let's take a closer look at a few examples in terms of identification, price, and different morphs. The second snake on our list is the corn snake. Corn snakes, similar to ball pythons, are typically well behaved and quite easy to care for. Growing to be as much as 6 feet in length, corn snakes sell for roughly the same price as that of the ball python. Very popular, the market is flooded with breeders looking to make a sale. Your typical quote unquote normal morph will go for as little as $20, the ideal price for a first time owner. However, in order to make sure you're getting high quality, it might be a bit wise just to spend a little more, just to be sure. The last thing you want to do is to spend 20 bucks on an older snake that is afflicted with illness. Let's take a closer look at various corn snake morphs and how much they cost.
Snake number three on our buyer's guide is the garter snake. If you've ever encountered a snake out in nature, say in your backyard for example, there's a respectable chance it was a garter snake. Many times a person's first personal encounter with a snake in nature is with this particular species. Garter snakes are virtually everywhere, from North America to Mexico. In terms of having one as a pet, garter snakes are quite forgiving regarding care. This is a plus if you're a beginner. Garter snakes can live in varying temperatures, humidity levels, and lighting conditions. The ideal starter snake. Garter snakes do, however, require regular holding and more frequent feedings. This can hurt your budget as costs can be a bit higher. While garter snakes are common in the general sense, they're not as common when it comes to pets. This is why a baby garter snake could set you back $100. In respect to morphs, this particular species is a bit limited. The albino garter can go for $200, and a few others approach $1,000 on the price scale. The fourth snake on our list is the king of California, the California king snake. Native to North America, the California king snake makes for a wonderful pet. A bit shorter in length and short-lived in terms of age expectancy, the California king snake only reaches 4 feet in length and lives between 10 and 15 years. Known for their striped patterns, they mostly have a black or brown color combination or that of white and yellow. Why the name king snake? The name is due to the fact that they can kill other snakes, such as rattlesnakes. Although king snakes can be a bit quick and tough to handle for beginners, they are a quality starter snake. Normal morphs typically start between $50 and $70. Let's take a closer look at some popular morphs and how much they'll hit your wallet. Our fifth selection is ringneck snakes. Sporting a brightly colored underbelly, usually of the red variety, yellow or orange persuasion, the ringneck snakes make a great starter snake if you're on a budget. Although not as common as other selections and lacking in morphs, the ringneck is very inexpensive. You can come away with a ringneck of your own for as little as $10. Our sixth selection is the hognose snake. As the name suggests, hognose snakes are known for their unique snouts, almost pig-like. Coming in a variety of shapes and sizes, western hognose snakes can be purchased for $20. Quite common, the hognose has several morphs. The albino western hognose, for example, is a gorgeous orange-white colorway that gives the snake almost a dreamsicle appearance. This morph retails for around $200 on average. The final snake that we will cover is the famed boa constrictor. The most famous of all of the constrictors, the boas, although respectfully feared, can make excellent pets if you are prepared to accept the challenge and the responsibility. Weighing as much as 30 pounds and growing to be as long as 10 feet, the boa constrictor is a handful in every sense of the word. Traditional boas run for about $80 to $100. In terms of morphs, boas are similar to that of the ball python. There are several different varieties. It should be noted that boas will exhaust a food and include your budget in a hurry. If overall cost and everything that it entails is a concern, the boa would not be the snake of choice for you if your goal is to save money. In respect to morphs, here are some of the more common and popular examples. Although the majority of common snakes are relatively inexpensive, a bit of forward thinking should always be in order. The price to care for a snake can get a bit tricky if you're not well informed when it comes to proper care. While nothing is cheap, it's certainly possible to spend more than is required if you're not looking for the best deals. Not every snake will require the same needs as it relates to specific things. The size of enclosures is just one example. 
and not all snakes require and need the same space. Let's take a quick look at the necessities of ownership and how much each selection will cost based on general estimation. Enclosures Let's begin with glass. The advantage of a glass enclosure is it will provide the easiest way to see your snake. No guesswork here. Glass enclosures are also good at helping to control humidity levels, but can also be a bit difficult to heat during the winter months, especially if the enclosure is large. Generally speaking, glass enclosures are the highest on the price list of the common trio, that being glass, wood, and plastic. And speaking of wooden enclosures, that is our next item. While not very glamorous if multiple viewing angles is your pleasure, wooden enclosures are quite sturdy and good for snakes that tend to feel more comfortable in a bit of a hidden environment. In terms of the price, wooden enclosures are generally middle of the road. And finally, we have the plastic enclosure. These are far and away the cheapest of the trio. Holding warmth quite well and very easy to clean, plastic enclosures are good. However, they're far from visually appealing. This is for the novice owner who wants to be a bit more responsible without all of the frills. There is certainly nothing wrong with a plastic enclosure as a starter option. As for the exact prices, the reason they were excluded is because costs can vary from less than $30 to several hundred dollars. While size plays an obvious role in the price, so does flash and flare. What do you want from your enclosure beyond the basic necessities? The more you want that goes above and beyond, the more you'll pay. If you're on a budget, we recommend buying an enclosure that is designed for a full-size snake. That way, your snake will never outgrow it and thus you won't have to replace it later due to a crowding issue. Always make it a priority to fill the enclosure with several hides and environmental recreations, such as plants. The goal is to mimic your snake's natural environment if possible. This will make your pet much more comfortable about its surroundings. You can decorate an entire enclosure for $30 if you're sticking to a budget. Our next topic of discussion is bedding. Your snake's bedding or substrate is vital because it's the material that lines the bottom of your snake's enclosure. This is critical as it serves multiple purposes, including partial humidity control. Bedding can also cater to snakes that like to burrow. Substrate also keeps your pet's enclosure clean and makes regular maintenance a bit easier. Any eliminations can be removed when bedding is replaced. Most substrates are relatively cheap, but they can be all the more expensive depending on the type of bedding you purchase. Some popular selections include newspaper, paper towels, bark chips, coconut fiber, and aspen shavings. Within the common and more popular bedding choices are also some bad ideas. Sand is a good example of a bad substrate. Because sand can find its way under your snake's scales and can be easily ingested, this makes for a potential health hazard, not to mention quite a messy cleanup when your snake eliminates. Our next issue concerning responsible care and the price tag associated involves heating and lighting. The type of heating and lighting instruments you purchase depends on the species. It's paramount that you research and receive proper information about your snake and what it needs in this regard before setting up your enclosure just any casual way. The way in which you do it is vital. Some snakes require a bit more detail as it relates to lighting and humidity levels compared to others. In terms of heating techniques, several notable ways include heat mats. These sit under your snake's enclosure and provide heat through the floor. Heat rocks are another option. Place these in your snake's enclosure as it will give them a warm place to sit. Basking lamps. These are localized heat lamps that your snake can relax under. They serve both the purpose of lighting as well as heating. And finally, ceramic heaters. These are essentially basking lamps minus the light. They are ideal for heating the air, whereas heat mats, for example, only heat the floor. The cost of this equipment will vary. Heat mats can run for as little as $20, but the price you pay will likely depend on the species you purchased and the actual size of the enclosure in question. Most solid heating and lighting setups can be achieved for roughly $100. Our next topic of discussion is food. Over the course of time, food will likely be your biggest expense. Some snakes can live up to 20 years or more. You're going to be doing a lot of feeding during that time. 
Additionally, the larger your snake, the larger the meals will have to be in order to adequately and properly sustain your pet. All of this can add up to a respectable amount of money per year. Depending on the size of your snake and the size of the mice you purchase relative to your snake's dietary needs, you could spend an estimated $50 over the course of a 12-month period. Our final point of discussion involves vet bills. The unexpected will likely arise during the course of your ownership, perhaps several times. This is all but unavoidable. Finding a local vet that specializes in snake care is one of the first things you should do once your ownership begins. In terms of the price tag, a routine visit and checkup will likely run you an estimated $50 with a $100 to $150 fee for a more serious health concern. Taking out pet insurance can be a wise decision. And on that note, that'll wrap things up for this video guide concerning this very important topic. When it comes to common pet snakes, the variety of morphs, the prices, proper care, etc., one could literally talk for hours if so compelled. There are so many details to cover. We truly only scratch the surface. However, we hope you enjoyed this content and found it beneficial and helpful as you navigate the road of potential ownership. We hope we help you to get a clear and more focused view on the snake that could be right for you and your personal circumstances. If you liked what you heard and saw, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whether you're watching this video from snakesforpets.com or directly from our YouTube channel, please join us on our adventure. We produce new content on a routine basis, so we hope you subscribe and stay up to date with our latest material. Question time. Are you currently exploring your options and trying to narrow down which species is best for you? Have you looked over guides similar to what was detailed in this video? Are you currently a snake owner who researched the topic a great deal before your purchase? If so, I'd love to read your story. Please share in the comments section below. Whether you're shopping around or you're a current owner, let me know how things are going. Did you buy your first choice or did you have to eliminate it once you research further? Share your own buyer's guide below. Until we meet again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you happy shopping and happy ownership, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Thank <laughs> you.